Disclaimer. This video is for educational purposes only, and contains content that's not owned by our channel. Copyright belongs to their creators and links are provided in the description below. Be sure to check them out. Hey guys, welcome to the Curious Pug. Today we'll be looking at some seminar topics, that some of the emerging Einsteins among you, that means all of you by the way, can use for your presentations. Before you get started make sure you subscribe to the Curious Pug and ring the bell icon, to get updates about our latest videos. Without further ado let's get started. Number 8. Optical satellite communication. Optical beam widths are much less, as compared to microwaves, leading to very high antenna gains on both transmit and receive. This enables low transmitter powers to be used leading to a low mass. It also makes the optical beam hard to intercept, which enables its use in military applications. Communication links between spacecrafts is an important element of space infrastructure, particularly where such links allow a major reduction in the number of Earth stations needed to service the system. The Space Communications Laboratory conducts R&D, focusing on optical satellite communications, in hopes of making breakthroughs in satellite communications data transmission technology. Number 7. Footstep Power Generation. Day by day, the population of the country increases and the requirement of the power is also increased. At the same time the wastage of energy also increased in many ways. Energy is wasted due to human locomotion. So reforming this energy back to usable form, can meet the global demand. To overcome this problem, the energy wastage can be converted to usable form using the piezoelectric sensor. This sensor converts the pressure on it to a voltage. So by using this energy saving method, that is the footstep power generation system, we are generating power. The advantages of footstep power generation system include waste of energy reduction, less maintenance cost, ultra low noise, wide dynamic and temperature range etc. This project is used for street lighting, mobile charging. It can be used in power failure situations. The application areas of this project involve public areas like temples, streets, metros, and railway stations. Number 6. Ocean Thermal Energy, also known as OTE. Ocean Thermal Energy Conversion is a process that can produce electricity by using the temperature difference between deep cold ocean water and warm tropical surface waters. OTEC plants pump large quantities of deep cold seawater and surface seawater to run a power cycle and produce electricity. OTEC is a clean energy source, environmentally sustainable and capable of providing large power. Recently, higher electricity costs, increased concerns for global warming, and a political commitment to energy security have made initial OTEC commercialization economically attractive, in tropical island communities, where a high percentage of electricity production is oil-based. Up to 88,000 terawatts per year of power could be generated from OTEC without affecting the ocean's thermal structure. Number 5. Automated Meter Reading, also known as AMR. Automated meter reading is the technology of automatically collecting consumption, diagnostic, and status data from water meter or energy metering devices and transferring that data to a central database for billing, troubleshooting, and analyzing. Another advantage is that billing can be based on near real-time consumption, rather than on estimates based on past or predicted consumption. This timely information coupled with analysis can help both utility providers and customers better control the use and production of electric energy, gas usage, or water consumption. AMR technologies include handheld, mobile and network technologies based on telephony platforms radio frequency or powerline. Benefits will be recognized by the utilities with increased efficiencies, outage detection, tamper notification and reduced labor cost as a result of automating reads. Because of these benefits, many utilities are moving towards implementing some types of AMR solutions. Number 4. Audio Spot Lighting. Audio Spot Lighting is a very recent technology that creates a focused beams of sound similar to light beams coming out of a flashlight. Specific listeners can be targeted with sound without others nearby hearing it. It makes use of non-linearity property of air. Its applications include automobiles, museums, military apps, audio, video conferencing, public announcement etc. It can focus sound only at the place you want. 
Ultrasonic emitter devices are used for this purpose, the directed sound travels much faster and dispersion can be controlled. This method is highly cost-effective and has longer lifespan. It requires the same power as required for regular speakers, there is no lag in reproducing the sound. Number 3. Ultracapacitor. A rapidly emerging and increasingly applied technology, ultracapacitors are capable of storing and discharging energy very quickly and effectively. Due to their many benefits, ultracapacitors are currently being utilized in thousands of different applications, and considered in an equally diverse range of future applications. Ultracapacitors deliver quick bursts of energy during peak power demands, then quickly store energy and capture excess power that is otherwise lost. They efficiently complement a primary energy source in today's applications because they discharge and recharge quickly. The future horizon looks brilliant for ultracapacitors, which already rank as a powerful alternative energy resource. Number 2. Nuclear battery. With the advancement in technology, there exists a great need for small, compact, reliable and lightweight power supplies. For very high power applications such as radar, satellites and for high-tech weapons, nuclear battery is used. Thermoelectric generator converts the radioactive energy released during decay of natural radioactive element into electrical energy. A long-term energy source with lifespan measured in decades and 200 times efficient than ordinary battery. They provide clean, safe and endless energy. They does not rely on nuclear reaction and does not produce radioactive waste. Radioactive isotopes which are being produced as a part of radioactive waste are used as fuel. They can withstand more than 400 years, and has no danger of explosions. A large percent of foreign dependents could be eliminated if use this device more widely, which in turn will decrease the price of oil and gas. This battery needs no large-scale containment or special shielding. It has no danger of emissions and contaminated steam leak. Also, radioisotopes that power the battery do not need to be cooled. It can produce up to 10,000 watts of power and heat. Number 1. Space-based solar power, also known as SBSP. Space-based solar power is the concept of collecting solar power in outer space and distributing it to Earth. Potential advantages of collecting solar energy in space include a higher collection rate and a longer collection period due to the lack of a diffusing atmosphere, and the possibility of placing a solar collector, in an orbiting location, where there is no nighttime. Space-based solar power systems convert sunlight to microwaves outside the atmosphere, avoiding the reflection losses and the downtime due to the Earth's rotation, but at great cost due to the expense of launching material into orbit. SBSP is considered a form of sustainable or green energy, renewable energy, and is occasionally considered among climate engineering proposals. Collecting surfaces could receive much more intense sunlight, owing to the lack of obstructions such as atmospheric gases, clouds, dust and other weather events. Consequently, the intensity in orbit is approximately 144% of the maximum attainable intensity on Earth's surface. Power could be relatively quickly redirected directly to areas that need it most. Thanks for watching. Check out these cool videos from the Curious Pug. We are sure you would like. Leave a like and comment what you think in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to the Curious Pug and ring the bell icon to get notified about the latest updates from the Curious Pug.